Now in this question then, we're given this sequence here and the starting value, the first value in the sequence, A1, which equals 2. And we're asked to find A2 and A3, leaving the answers in third form. So how do we get the next term in the sequence, A2? Well, very easy. All we need to do is let n equal 1. Because when you put n equal to 1 here, you're going to get a 1 add 1, so it's going to be a 2. And what's it equal to? Well, it's equal to the square root of a 1 squared plus 3. So we've got a 1 squared plus 3. And all we need to do is put in the value of a 1, which was 2, so you've got the root of 2 squared plus 3. In other words, root 7. So that's your first third value, the square root of 7. Now we just need to get the third term in the sequence, a3, and we can do that very easily then by just putting n equal to 2. So when n equals 2, we have a 2 plus 1, a3. And that's going to be equal to the square root then of a2 squared plus 3. Now I'm putting in quite a lot of working here. You most probably would want to cut down on the stages, but it's just there to show you how it's done, just in case some of you are struggling with it. Okay, so we've got a2 squared. Now you've got the root of 7 all squared. So we just put that in there, root of 7 squared. And then we just add 3. Now, root of 7 squared is going to be 7, so 7 and 3 gives us 10. So we end up with a3 being equal to the root of 10. Okay, there you go. a1 is 2, a2 is root 7, and the third term a3 is root 10.